my name is Sherry McAdam, and I was a teacher here uh, from uh, 1978 until 2012. I taught ESL, and I was a union rep uh, for 16 years, 12 precinct rep and four at rep at large. And so I, I feel I have some experience in this area. I've also taken classes almost 30 years, continue, continue to study at City College. And one of the programs in the last 25 that I have been in has been in the Fort Mason art program which is a very fine program with wonderful artists and dedicated people. What do you think about these cuts that have been announced? I think that the cuts, it's very unfair that they're taking it out on our backs. This is a very well attended program and it's very important to older people. Learning is, makes our minds active and keeps us going. And it's also, we have a way of giving something back to the public by creating beautiful artwork. Um, so I feel that the budget shortfall is largely due to the mismanagement and malfeasance of the board. And I can also say this because I attended my first year at City College, 66 to 67. I also, uh, my, my kids have been attending on and off for five years, my twins, and recently in the last year, year and a half, they've had problems. They've been closing the classes too fast when they're trying to adjust their schedule. And in a registration system that, that, that they, apparently the board uh, hired an outside consultant that cost a lot of money, maybe millions over the various outside consultants, but to, to establish, uh, set up a registration online, and it failed. My kids came to me and said, Mom, I can't register. So this is affecting me, it's affecting my family, it's affecting a lot of students, and uh, that, that the older adult program should have to put up with this, that, that blame and it was an easy, what is it, a thumb, a hand, an arm to cut off. It was easy, thoughtless, very simplistic to take that out on our backs. Their mistakes, we have to pay for them. And uh, it, it's, it's just, it's not right. And all the teachers that are left in the middle of the semester without a job and they there's no way in, in the middle excuse me of the school year there's no way they're going to be able to find a job so they'll be out of work without medical coverage and 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 pay for all the spring semester and the summer i mean that's just inconscionable very thoughtless uh, i guess that sort of wraps it up I can hardly look at them, and I, I'm hoping they may listen, but I have my doubts whether they're... they're my name is Sandra Rivas. I'm the assistant director um, at 30th Street Senior Center, um, and a group of my seniors and myself are here because the older adult department has been slashed 90%, which means that a lot of uh, programs that City College had through the senior centers have been drastically cut from one day to another with no warning. Um, and of course, that leaves our seniors with no exercise classes, arts and crafts, etc. And we're here to talk about um, the importance of senior programming um, and accessibility to um, our seniors. Ana Rivera. Uh, I am here to protest about the closing of the classes of the 30th Street Senior Center. We were taking classes here, and then they told us we couldn't take it more than four four times, so we migrated to uh, senior, to the senior center. Now they closed them all completely, and that's the only place we have to go uh, 
people to keep healthy. If they close all these classes, there's about 100 people that won't know what to do. The medical cost is going to go up, and we want to avoid that by keeping active and healthy. Why would they do something like that? San Francisco has a lot of billionaires, a lot of very wealthy people. I know some of the people here at City College just got big races, and the school is free. Why is it free, and they're having so much problems? When I graduated from here, I used to pay $49 a unit. So $49, three times per unit, that was a lot of money. Don't tell me nothing that now is free and they don't have any money. Absolutely not. I don't believe it. And they have money, millions for the homeless. What about the seniors? We count. We matter. Public affairs. The administration will not use any additional funds to reinstate the courses that have been cut for spring 2020. You are all obviously aware of the huge enormous effort that went on in the past few weeks to ask the San Francisco supervisors to provide $2.7 million to make up for what we were told was an emergency budget cuts on the eve of registration going live. It's, it's not too late. Direct your administration to accept the money and go after it. We have the, a lot of supervisors that are for it and more that could be persuaded if you try to. Thank you very much. Yeah. That I want to fight for older adults because yes. we are big. We are 27 sites all over the city. I fought for 31 faculty and I thought we were moving towards the right thing all over the city. Now they've taken away 27 of our sites. Is that right? No. no. So our senior elders come to classes at our 27 senior centers, not only to learn, but to also be in community. There's a sense of family, participation, and the joy of being together. They've come from all over the world, they end up with us. They have stories, they speak many languages, but they learn to communicate together in those languages. They live alone, or they're in SROs. They are grateful to not only get a class, but to get a hot meal. Uh, David DeLagosino, I teach part-time philosophy, uh, or, or I used to. I started teaching uh, at City College in 2004, and this apparently is my last semester. In my case, none of my sections were cut, but enough sections were cut in the philosophy offering that three part-timers covering four classes were dismissed. Uh, the remaining ten classes are divided equally by the, um, the two full-timers. I'm fortunate I have a career to fall back on, uh, but lives have been disrupted. Uh, very briefly, um, students who are on a different trajectory than your high school student trying to get into a four-year program uh, have come to City College as part of the community to better themselves with respect to their various objectives, some of them degree-orientated, some of them for just personal edification. Uh, their paths are now disrupted. They're interrupted. They don't have anything to fall back on, given the convenience and the good education that the college offers. Uh, so for myself, it's an interruption. I hope to return. For others, it's a major dent in the trajectories that they were on, and I'm, I'm sick. Have given any notice about this? Was there any report? Or what? Absolutely no notice. Just an email, um, despite my name being in the schedule. Uh, and uh, I'm flattered that students seek me out, and they look at the schedule to see that I will be teaching. Um, no notice. This is worse than a corporate layoff. With a corporate layoff, I've enjoyed uh, some severance. I've enjoyed insurance. I've enjoyed professional help to get me to my next job. This was abrupt. Nothing. No clue as to whether something can happen later or not, we have no idea. But what does this tell you about the character of this community college and the management that they would do something like that to you and other instructors and the students? It's a, it's a complete uh, usurping of the idea of community in the college. It's, uh, it's a trumping, and I don't mean to mix the metaphor unintentionally, um, it's a trumping of what we would think about the, the City College of San Francisco. Uh, it's um, insensitive, it's uh, unthoughtful, uh, and it only solidifies uh, the, the belief that we have that they're trying to privatize this and um, provide an uh, educational path for a very select um, set of people in our community which is completely anti the vision of uh, inclusiveness um, in, in the vibrancy of San Francisco that the vision statement cites. I think it's terrible. I think it's totally abject. Um, mismanagement. Why is my name in, the, uh, in a, um, a printed uh, journal, um, you know, schedule? Like, you know, false advertising. Uh, and there are
derelict of their duties. And what's, what's, what's great about it is just given all of the attention we have to get the, the, um, the gentleman at the top out, um, it just you know focuses us on everything down to the local level, and I look forward to not voting for anybody here. You've used time generously for yourselves, so we're being democratic about it for a change. If you're opposed to that Orwellian form of educational progress I miss that, that addresses the cuts in our funding, what are you doing to regain the, to regain the lost funding that has contributed to this devastating non-emergency? Are you actually supporting the Schools and Community First Initiative? I'm glad to hear you are about it. If as more people are advocating, that Chancellor Rosa may soon be seeking opportunities... Uh, I'm sorry, Roger, if you don't stop telling what I'm I'm finished! No, everybody else got a minute. Call, well, bring the police then. Restructure of the colleges as successfully as he has this college. Would you recommend that he take a good freshman comp course to avoid redundancies <laughs> such as his suggestion to, quote, add additional sport classes, close quotes, to students enrolled in college level? Sorry, areas we'll have to end How long the comments we have to wait for, for you to represent the people who elected you to you preserve our much-needed and much-deserved community college? I'm Adam Mueller, I'm in the music department. I started teaching at City in 1965, and I've probably been on every budget committee since then, except maybe the current one. But I keep records, I have a house full of records. And so I brought you a few things this evening, uh, you the board, and I have a little bit left over. One is to show that we've, we've never had this kind of budget crisis. They lied about us during the accreditation report. I have the transcripts of the trial, I'll bring those copies to you. People under oath declared it was, there was no fiscal crisis. That was a made-up crisis. Our accreditation crisis was made up in order to take us over, in order to destroy San Francisco. So the budget crisis, I have both a report before the takeover from Michael Hill saying that we we're in very good shape, and also the 311 double audited reports um, that are we call the truth sheet, which I kept track of for decades, which shows that we were in very good shape in terms of fiscal stuff, until very recently, during the takeover years, and that becomes very suspicious. So I will bring you more of these later on. Qualified working labor force if the students cannot get the classes they need to train to be able to go out and seek jobs. Right. Some of you might not, not know this, but an entry level um, automotive technician starts at $24 an hour. That's $24 an hour. That's not working at minimum wage and getting tips. That's entry level pay for a qualified, certified automotive worker. My name's Era. I've been here since 2015. I do not fit the mold for a two year transfer student. For me, City College gave me the earth beneath my feet when I had nowhere else to go. It's where I needed to begin my life again. It's through women's and gender studies and Asian American studies that I was able to ground myself. That is to say that it takes time for certain students. It takes time for them to get on track and to get better. These classes from all departments help people through learning and by building a foundation. Uh, my story echoes one another, and overall all our stories build from one another as well. I would like to also say that Chancellor Rocha, it's time that we start this chapter without you two. Brenna Stroud, student at City College and woman in the trades that's being hurt by these cuts. People are losing their faith in you as a board. Class cuts have severely and equally affected trades workers, minorities, and those trying to transfer or graduate. The excuses for these cuts don't hold water, and y'all know this. And these cuts, these cuts to spring 2020 will even prevent you from meeting your own board goal to increase 2,500 FTES in the 2019-2020 semester or year. The whole city is behind City College, having an abundance of education for all. At the recent supervisors meeting, the president of the San Francisco chapter of the NAACP told the supervisors that he stands with and will join forces in restoring City College. If he thinks these cuts are hurting people of color, that speaks volumes over the rhetoric coming from the college. scares of state takeover prevent you from fighting for this college. If you give in to these fears, you have already given up your power. Thank you. Rocha has told the Board of Supervisors already that it is not up to you to restore the classes, but that the power is in his hands alone. 
What does this say to the city and the people about the usefulness of Thank our trustees? Stand up for your constituents. Showing leadership for voting against the self reasons that were secretly inserted in the budget and for calling for an audit and an examination of the finances. She has shown leadership, which is what we need. And I just want to read a short quote from Chancellor Rocha's letter. Thank you. Please know that with the full support of the CCSF Board of Trustees, we are handling this difficult situation directly here yeah. at the college. So do you think it's being handled? No! We would like to see it be handled. We would like to see leadership, and we would like you to fight with us and for us. Thank you. The same type of logic is happening here at City College. We have a chancellor. We have a chancellor who has discouraged the possible granting of emergency funding to reverse the class cuts. I, I was at the academic senate meeting yesterday and heard Chancellor Rocha say he wants to grow enrollment. Can he name a college whose enrollment has grown after hundreds of classes have been cut? I'll stop my comments if he would be so good as to answer my question. Is he willing to answer the question? We don't engage in the question. I, I think the audience would be glad yeah. to hear that. So, so please, please make an exception and let him answer the question, how do you grow college when you cut hundreds of its classes? Answer. There's going to be no answer? Answer. Alright, thank you. Okay, then I want to finish. I want to congratulate you. I, I want to congratulate you on your success at downsizing the college and overcoming obstacles such as free city that make downsizing much more difficult. Congratulations. Trustee Rizal, can we count on you? Jonathan Tom. Trustee William. Right now. Yeah. 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 Yeah.